Hello all, another video, Chris Dale here. We got Natus number five. So this is uh, level six actually for the over the wires war game Natus. All about web hacking, we're going through level by level. I'm gonna show you how to solve these challenges and hopefully do some explanation between, uh, behind them so we can gain some insight. So we're not just hacking in the dark and hopefully we'll learn something. Now in this case it says access disallowed, you're not logged in, all right? Cool, not logged in. I guess we got a login somewhere. My gut reaction is, to immediately start hacking, like, log in to PHP, is there anything here? But this would be guessing widely, right? Why don't we take a look at the source code which have caused us to be successful in the past? However, in the source code, I mean, finally it's actually empty here. Finally it's actually empty. I'm not going to go guessing about trying robots.txt as we did in the previous level, no, no, no. Um, there might be other stuff hidden here. For example, inside of the HTTP headers. So I'm going to bring up my little web proxy. I'm going to make a request. So this is my get request. Also in my proxy, I've told it to capture the server responses. So I can inspect the responses before my web browser gets them. And I'll call, I can also change those requests. So for my get request, notice that my page is just loading. It's just waiting for Natus 5 right now because it's currently being captured in my web proxy. I forward. And here I have a source code that is actually rendered in my browser here. So this source code in this tab, it would load if I didn't, if I wasn't intercepting, is actually this HTML here. Uh, but you can also see the little set cookie thing here. You see, set cookie logged in equals zero. Uh, okay. What happens when we change it to one? Well. <laughs> Let's let's see, refresh the page. Access granted, the password for Nata 6 is so-and-so. No, <coughs> you don't have to use a proxy to figure out this. I mean, you could go to uh, storage down here, storage, and uh, we can go and see that we have different cookies in my browser right now. Now, these are cracking cookies. All of these top ones here are cracking cookies. Primarily, I believe it's Google Analytics. And cookies are basically what allows a web browser to store state between a web browser and a web server. And whenever the web server sees any of these magic values here, they can now learn that, hey, this guy is visiting again. This is the same guy that visited yesterday, for example, and so on. But having this logged in here uh, equals to zero. It was zero. We can just double click here and change it to one. We can refresh the page, make sure that we resend the cookie, and it's access granted. Now here we can, we can add our own cookies. We can change cookies. We can do anything here. Another thing to uh, notice is that we have cache here, we have local storage for HTML5, and this, these are places where there could also be hidden information. But right now though, I mean, I guess that's it. Cookies, it's a thing. Uh, uh, we just changed a zero to a one, and we got access granted. Of course, uh, uh, maybe a bit more realistic scenario, a bit more harder scenario would be that it didn't say log in, it said like user ID or something like that, and it would be like a, a random value, of, or, or not a random value necessarily, but a, but a high number, for, some, for example, and you would go ahead and enumerate all possible values. Uh, say, for example, the value was 1,000, and you would check to see what is what happens with the application when I enter 0, minus 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Does the application ever change? And we could then measure that the application changed when we got to a value of, for example, 1, and we got access granted, password from another 6. Let's try it out. I mean, uh, these beginner levels are not very hard, but hopefully it does add for some for some um, uh, knowledge to be uh, learned, especially if you're a newbie, if you're new into hacking and web hacking specifically, this could potentially be a learning experience. So we're going to close up the video there. In the next video, we're going to start with Natus 6 and see what's, what's, what this is all about. Looks pretty interesting to me. All right, cool. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.